Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Kankar, your bartender in the OSR. Down below, there is a link. Tankars-tavern.games slash DTRPG. DTRPG, oh my God. Uh, it's going to be one of those nights. So, this is the link to Drive Through RPG. It's an affiliate link. If you go through this link, and you make a purchase, you put a few coins in the tavern's coffers. It's appreciated. We don't do sponsorships. I'm not saying we never will. But this way, we can be sure we're staying honest. <clears throat> so, this came out over the weekend. Many articles on this, including at Yahoo Business, of all places. Meta, Meta for those of you who don't know, Meta is... Facebook. So there you go. Facebook makes an AI D&D Dungeon Master. Mm, I don't know if it's technically D&D &D Dungeon Master. And it really shouldn't be a DM, right? Because technically DM is, I believe, a trademark of WotC. But Metacast, a rapper turned robot, as a Dungeon Master, an AI that helps users run Dungeons and Dragons style Role-playing adventures, D&D style adventures for D&D fans. An AI dungeon master was, until recently, a far-off nightmare. A dread concept we thought might come to be, but never did. Well, someone has come to make our nightmares real. Unsurprisingly, it's Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook. Now meta, like I said. Pretty much one and the same. Fame. More surprisingly, he's cast Snoop Dogg in the AI DM role. I mean, I'm sure there are better AI DMs you could have pulled up. I mean, hey, maybe you could have licensed uh, Gary Gygax's image and voice from the Gygax estate. Right? That's AI. Uh, in any case, at the Meta Connect Product Summit on September 27th, Meta, I hate saying Meta, revealed it was introducing Meta AI to WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook Messenger for U.S. users. Like many existing artificial intelligence programs, Meta AI can generate text and images based on user prompts, along with its main AI software. Meta is also introducing 28 AI characters with specific personalities and interests, along, I'm sorry, among which is the Dungeon Master, who looks exactly like Snoop Dogg. Zuckerberg gives a live demonstration of DM Dogg's capabilities at the summit, texting the robot rapper brief role-playing prompts while the audience looks on. It's clear from this demonstration that Zuckerberg and the Dungeon Master aren't playing actual D&D 5e, for likely legal reasons. Okay. Instead, the encounter is heavy on generic fantasy descriptions and light on the rules. As the voice of Snoop Dogg commands us to, and I can't do Snoop voice, sorry. Get medieval with it. Get medieval, player. Uh, Zuckerberg asked the audience who hasn't wanted to play a text adventure game with Snoop Dogg. If you've paid much attention to the D&D community since the D&D controversy, the answer is a lot of people. Not long after D&D publisher Wizards of the Coast apologized for attempting to change its open game license, Ugh. rumors spread that the company planned to introduce AI Dungeon Masters to its digital marketplace, D&D Beyond. A misinformation statement assured us that no one at Wizards was working on AI DMs. I said that myself. This That statement itself is a legalese parsing. But we move on. But not before online criticism could show us exactly how the tabletop RPG community felt about the concept. And then they give a link to see the demonstration below. Meta launches Beta AI on the same day it was announced. So Dog the Dungeon Master is already out in the world asking players, what do you want to do? He even has a Facebook page filled with one thing the tabletop community hates even more than AI DMs, AI art. For more on AI in D&D, 
You can check the statement. Wizards made after the fan base discovered AI art in an RPG. Yes. But, hey, let's take a look, shall we? So you want to play a role-playing game. Well, now you can just drop the, the dungeon master into one of your chats. And uh, let's check this guy out. Let's get medieval, player. There you go. I mean, who hasn't wanted to play a text, you know, adventure game with Snoop Dogg? Oh, man. Now, I'm pausing this for a moment, but... Think about this. Of all the personalities they could use for your DM, it's going to be Snoop. And they're saying, later, 2024, likely that AI DM is going to be using voice. <laughs> so, it's good. The expressions are good. We've got voice coming over a couple of months, probably probably early next year or something like that. Um, but this is this is pretty fun to play with. Um, you know, at, at this point in the keynote, I, I, I was kind of thinking, you know, we could do an audible. You want a live demo? Yeah. All right. Now I hate to say, do you want a live demo? I mean, I had no intention of doing a live demo, but we could do a live demo. I, I hate that bullshit. Can't promise much, but let's try it. Let's try it and see what happens. And he already knows what he's going to input. That just like when they did it with Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, whoa. Let's, no matter what the audience decides, make sure we go through it the right way so we can get the druid on bear right. sex. So it's let's not, see, where are we? This isn't that bad. Are we? Where are we? Okay. Which one? By the way, this is what happens when you have the geek that runs the company doing your presentation. He's like one of us, I hate to say it, totally unprepared. Hmm. What do we do? Forge ahead? Forge ahead. Let's forge ahead. Gather your weapons and armor. All right, so <laughs> it doesn't look all that exciting right now. Maybe it'll be more exciting as time goes on. I don't know. I mean, there's potential there, certainly. It's kind of like a, a choose-your-own-adventure path where your options, though, are limited. Or kind of like Zork. Remember when we were playing Zork back in, what, the 80s? And you had to, like, you know, figure out the text that would get a response? Well, here... You could say, uh, I don't know, uh, scratch my ass, and the AI will likely have an answer for you. I may have to do that for a test. Maybe we'll do that for one of our uh, bonus videos. We're going to be doing bonus videos for subscribers that will come out at least a week before it hits the, the general stream. So maybe that's an interesting one to do. Oh, God. Trouble, trouble, trouble. All right, folks. On that note, this is it. Well, Oxy wasn't working on it, but Meta was, and you can be damn well sure they had an idea. So, tell me what you think. Give me your thoughts. And as always, be safe, be well, God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Sounds like a good idea, right? Be good.